Simo! What's going on guys, it's Simo. Today I wanted to bring you a video discussing how to beat the Blue Eyes White Dragon deck. Now that we have Alternative Dragon in the game, you're seeing Blue Eyes decks pop up all over the place. And I know a lot of you are probably wondering, what is probably the most effective way to handle this deck? I did a video on how to beat Cleaforth Demise. It was a pretty popular video, so I thought, yeah, what the hell, I'll just go ahead and do one on Blue Eyes as well. So. There's a lot of different things that you can actually use to combat Blue Eyes if you're finding a hard time going up against it. The deck is extremely powerful, but with all that power also comes a lot of weaknesses. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. The first and probably, in my opinion, the most effective way to handle the deck is locking down the special summoning by stunning them. Now, this can be done with a myriad of different cards. You can use a card like... Ally of Justice Quarantine, which prevents the special summoning of all light monsters. Uh, Kawaki Meru Drago is an amazing card in the mirror match. Uh, Fossil Dine is really good. Vanity's Fiend is really good. Vanity's Emptiness is really good. Um, Barrier Statues, really anything that just restricts special summoning as a whole. And the reason for that is the deck does an insane amount of special summoning. And so if you actually have a monster that's a decent sized attack that prevents all special summoning, Basically, they have almost zero to no outs to it in a form of a monster, and they basically need to draw something like a Dark Hole, a Regeki, or like Swords of Concealing Light, or something really weird to kind of out that card, and there's really not a whole lot they can do about it, and that's just one of the best ways to combat it. You'll see a lot of Blue Eyes players, if they go up against something like that, they might just scoop, because if they don't have the answer, there's literally nothing they can fucking do about it, so... If you want, go ahead and pick those up and figure out which one works best in your deck. Like I said, I'm just giving you as many examples as possible to basically fit what suits the kind of deck that you're playing. And you can just basically take that as a tool and use it against Blue Eyes going forward. So that's kind of, in my opinion, the best way, but there's also so many other different ways. Um, another one of those being is that you can also hit the graveyard. Now, we've had a card like DD Crow around for such a long time, and... Cards like, you know, Return of the Dragon Lords and Whitestone of Ancients are really, really important. And so if you can use DD Crow and hit something that they're targeting off of one of those two cards, they're basically just going to not have any more plays because that's going to really disrupt their plays. They might not get an alternative dragon back, and that could just throw a wrench in everything. Um, it, there's so many different things that a card like DD Crow can hit in the Blue Eyes deck. And if you really want to go far... Ally of Justice Cycle Reader is basically an upgraded version of DD Crow. It only targets light monsters, but the whole deck is basically light. So if you don't really care about targeting other decks as well, Cycle Reader is definitely the way to go because you can hit two monsters instead of one. Um, Abyss Dweller, as always, is also a really good card too because it'll basically prevent all the same cards from triggering. Um, it's a little bit different because like Return of the Dragon Lords can still target things in Grave and summon them, so Dweller won't stop that. But it's just another really cool way that you can, pretty much if you're running a rank 4 deck, you're already going to have it built in, so you don't have to go really out of your way to play anything else. So, that's it for that. Um, another really cool thing is that you can go after their spell cards. So you can play something like Anti-Spell Fragrance, or Secret Village of the Spellcasters, which are already extremely popular. The deck is basically half spell, so if you get one of these out, and they don't really have an optimal play like to summon a Blue Eyes or anything like that, um, they're gonna make all their Tradens dead, all their Dragon Lords dead, you're gonna make every, you're gonna make half their deck dead, basically, and that just really fucks them up really hard. And, um, rather than go after the spells, you can also go after the monster. So you can use cards like Skill Drain, or, um, what's that one card? Right, Grave of the Super Ancient Organism, I think it is? Um, a lot of the Blue Eyes effect monsters, while being, you know, huge beaters, also have really powerful effects. You know, Spirit Dragon, Alternative Dragon... Um, the whole rank 8 toolbox, essentially. And so, if you basically... Well, I guess Grave won't work against that, but Skill Drain will. But in any case, the whole point is, if you can stop their powerful effects, they're just giant beaters, essentially, that really don't do a whole lot. And some decks can get around that no problem. So, again, if you're playing something, you know, like, maybe, like, Cletomize that already is playing something like Skill Drain in the main, then that works totally in your favor. And then you can just go ahead, you know, tribute off your carriers, bounce them back, Things like that, they're not really going to have a whole lot else to do with it. Uh, so next moving on is Kaijus. Now Kaijus are probably one of the best options that we have. I know OCG is getting them soon, but it's really, really powerful because being able to distribute a Gamma Seal over an Alternative Dragon, a Spirit Dragon, anything like that, they can't respond to it. 
there's not a whole lot they can do about it, and it really, really hurts, especially with Spirit Dragon, because Spirit Dragon, being the defensive powerhouse that it is, being able to distribute Gamma Seal over it, they're not going to be able to tribute it off, they're not going to be able to banish stuff in your grave, like, it's just the perfect, perfect counter. It also is weaker, you know, than the Spirit Dragon, making it much easier to get over. So, Kaijus are probably one of the most simple solutions, like they are for everything else, essentially, but really, really effective at the same time. So that's it for Kaijus. Um, then, just more traditional things. Hand traps are really effective against the deck. Like, Max C shits on the deck so hard because they do so much special summoning. You can just literally drop Max C, like, in the standby phase. And then, if they have an alternative dragon, they have to possibly give you a one-for-one one there. And if they want to do something with it, like make a spirit dragon, they have to give you a plus. And that's just, like, at the bare, bare minimum. So, that's really good. Effect Mailer is also good for stopping alternative dragon or any of the other good cards. Um, and then you have stuff like Ghost Ogre. Ghost Ogre is pretty good as well. It can pop things like Alternative Dragon, even though it might still get off the effect. Still a good way to get around it. And uh, Ghost Reaper is pretty effective as well if you want to side or actually have a copy of Spirit Dragon in your extra deck. Because without Spirit Dragons, the deck's versatility actually just shrinks tremendously. So being able to Reaper Spirit Dragon can really, really hurt some of their plays. So I know a lot of people are playing it for Burning Abyss. Just want to throw in another copy of Spirit Dragon. It's a really cool way to get around that as well. And for the last uh, series of cards to use against Blue Eyes, uh, these are pretty standard. I mean, Strahl and Strike, Solemn Warning, and Chaos Trapple. Since Alternative Dragon is an inherent summon, what you can do is, is you can Strike, Warning, or Chaos Trapple, the Alternative Dragon, and not only are you destroying the card, but they also can't summon it back since it wasn't properly summoned. So something like Return of the Dragon Lords won't do any good, and it wasn't, um, you know, for a special summon properly. So, that's an incredible way, especially, too, since the deck doesn't make massive, massive boards, like, kind of, like, in the first couple turns. Like, if you stop something like the summon of, like, a White Stone of Ancients, or a Sage, or an Alternative Dragon, or even a Spirit Dragon, for that matter, um, you can just almost end their turn, because they might not have a whole lot else that they can do. And really, here I want to emphasize Chaos Trap Bowl, because if Chaos Trap Bowl banishes something like a White Stone or anything like that, it's just doing the dual purpose of removing the threat and also DD Crow kind of, you know, paying homage to that and just banishing it from the game, they're not going to get any extra added value off of that. So that's just a very, very powerful way to help combat the deck. And that's really all I got. I mean, there's so many different tools at our disposal to help combat the Blue Eyes decks that I thought I would just share with you pretty much my favorite methods that I could come up with to deal with it. But I know there's more. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite ways are to combat the Blue Eyes deck. Thank you as always so much for watching the video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. See you next